what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and i'm out here with the Esheen trash can and i got three bladed props on it from beta fpv and i did do the xt30 mod to it it gives it a whole lot more power uh those guys that are those guys that are saying that you should keep the uh double 1s set up on this thing i totally disagree you get way more power with this 350 milliamp hour beta fpv 2s and i want to show you guys so, fire this guy up i did add a buzzer on it fired up and get it to record okay so we're recording fire it up so let's look at the punch out another one okay enough with the line of sight flying I want to do some FPV in with this guy Let's see if I can get my goggles on. Guy flies great. A little bit of prop wash there. Feels really floaty. Whoa, we got some weird reaction there. Some wash out. I'm pretty far away from myself right now. <laughs> and the reception is really great. I'm all the way over here where the crosshairs are pointing. Let's do some diving and see if we get that weird washout again. No washout that time. Do a power loop. No washout. Let's do some whooping. Hit some gaps. That's what this thing is for, right? Oh, I had to jump over that one. We got the battery dying. Bring them back in. And the battery goes down really fast on this thing. <laughs> so once you hear the buzzer going off, you gotta hurry up and land this guy. But pretty awesome little flyer, especially for a tiny whoop. And I did bring the uh, Beta FPV 75 Pro out here. So let's get into a flight of that for comparison. Got the Pro, we got the same battery, same props. Okay. So let's look at a punch out of this guy. <laughs> so very compar comparable punch outs here. Let's go in the act, bro. So 
So the trash cans punch out might be slightly faster on the low end, but once you get going, I'm not sure. I think this one might be a little faster at high, on high throttle. Let's take off with this guy, FPV. Oh, I lost reception with it. It fell safe on me. I assume that I can fly as far as I did with the trash can. <laughs> I did. I was over top of that Home Depot at first. Okay, so this one, less range on this one. That's surprising because people were complaining about the trash cans um, range. Oh, let me check the battery. The battery seems like it might be hanging. No, the battery's not hanging. Let's assess the damage, if any. No damage. So it took a tumble and no damage. Let's take off from right there. I heard a beep and that scared me. I thought the battery was dead. It is pretty cold out here. So flight times will be better in the warmer weather. Oh! to dive through there let's try turtle mode and it, I had some weird washout right there Now I've learned in my testing that the washout actually happens when you don't apply enough throttle. Like if you're doing a dive and, and you're pulling up and you don't give it a lot of throttle, then they tend to act really weird. If I give it a lot more throttle, then it never does that. So I'm wondering if it's actually human error that's causing these washouts to happen and all. And of course some craft are more subject to that than others and you can tune it out uh, for the most part the best you could do is stop it from happening as easy this one has no buzzer so it's screaming low buzzer it's screaming low battery land now so I'm gonna land it let me make sure I save the video And so as I was saying, I think you can uh, make it happen less, but for the most part, you can't totally tune it out, I don't think, but people are claiming that they've tuned it totally out with the um, Mobile S7. I haven't flown that one yet. This one flies really nice. The uh, trash can flies okay as well, but this one I think flies a little smoother than a trash can. But of course this one, you can't add a buzzer and that's one thing that I think is really important to have a buzzer even though you can use 
the D-Shock commands for lost model alarm, a buzzer is louder, and you can also get audible alerts for uh, LVC. And that's my main concern with having a buzzer. I like to have audible alerts for LVC because a lot of times you don't even pay attention to what's going on in the OSD. Of course, now we have the OSD that shows you land now land now in the middle but a lot of people don't like to fly with that and it's very easy to overlook your voltage so that's it quick fpv flight demo of the Isheen trash can and this beta 75 pro 2 which one you guys think is better thanks for watching